peripheral vascular instruments if you don't have stuff for peds. Mm. Okay, so pass the umbilical tape around the vessel and then thread both ends through the short rubber catheter and place the hemostat. There. Uh, could I borrow her for a moment? Yes, but not for long, please. Uh, I'd like to admit Ethan Dawson to peds for the night. Oh, he'll be fine with social services. Kids go with him every day. This kid doesn't have to. Oh, and there's protocol for a reason. Yeah, we're human for a reason. I know that you've taken a special interest in this kid. Why is everybody think... acting like this is some kind of a character for you? He ought to stay. He's sick. I got to look at him when I checked his wrist. Short limb syndrome. Correct. Right. He's right. Uh, limited growth, excessive sleeping and eating. Impulse control problems. It, these are all the symptoms of childhood. Can't be sure. Not until we confirm it with testing and observation. Guys, guys, I love the enthusiasm, but it's not going to happen. Looks like you got this. Yes, but not as fast as it could be. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> Thank you for all you've taught us. I wish it could be more. It feels like nothing. If we will help even one child, it's everything. Short limb syndrome. Yeah, we're not sure. At this point, we're just admitting him for observation. We'll know more in the morning. Hey, so, got your own TV? There. Bailey said the second patient isn't responding to antibiotics, so she's going to need surgery. I just operated on the third. He's hypotensive and still pretty unstable. Once Murphy's identified all her patients for the day, then we'll get them in here and make sure no one else is infected. We're going to need to make some kind of statement before this gets out there on its own. Hey, uh, the first patient, Joyce Bache, she didn't make it. I thought that the surgery would get rid of the infection, but... You need to get cultures on the other two right away. And we need to make sure that we're using the right antibiotics so that this doesn't get out of control. <laughs> we just lost Joyce Bache. Dr. Bailey? D no, she's her patient. She should know. Well, you checked all the charts. She was only on two of the patients that got the infection. She never touched the third one. Was that supposed to reassure me? A woman just died. It couldn't have been Leah. The only doctor who touched all three patients was you. We're gonna need to get legal down here. Well, any, anything could have caused this kind of infection. Yeah, no, well, we know that, but until there's an investigation... No, um, I gotta go, because I have two more people. Oh, Dr. Weber will deal with that. Yeah, this is Dr. Avery. Give me Joel Geller from legal down here, conference room two. I will go over my notes. Sit down, Dr. Bailey. No, my patients are in danger. Dr. Weber will take care of them. I haven't even told Joyce's husband that she didn't make it. I know the man. I don't need Gray to tell him that I killed his wife. Dr. Bailey, please sit down. We're supposed to be straight with you. So be careful what you ask for when you walk into a hospital. What are you? Saying. I'm asking you to sit down. Because when you find out what's really going on, you may never recover. 